Hello dear London. Uh, we have started the new topic that is to and uh, uh, we have already finished the points introduction and the history of this then the definition of uh, this the position of this uh, we have also seen the uh, various methods of the pre preparation that is the uh, creamery cutter method desi uh, cutter method pre stratif uh, pre uh, direct clarification method pre stratification method and the continuous method so these are the uh, five methods and out of this just to we have completed the first method that is the uh, desi butter method or desi method how the tea is prepared by the uh, desi method and uh, the four uh, four methods are the main that is the creamery butter method uh, direct clarification method pre stratification method and the continuous method so uh, today we are going to see in detail or say we are going to learn in detail about the creamery butter method so uh, let's start uh, the new method this is the uh, dc or the country uh, method of preparation we have all this uh, in our previous lecture and this is the second method that is the uh, creamery butter method generally the creamery butter method is adopted in uh, most of the organized dairies and whereas the raw butter which is used uh, that is the unsalted or white butter means the butter in which salt is not added color is not added only that kind of the butter is used for the ghee preparation for uh, the ghee preparation that uh, that butter is taken into a uh, butter melter and it is melted to the temperature of the 60 to 80 degrees celsius and when this butter uh, is melted it is pumped to a, a ghee boiler and where uh, this uh, butter is again heated and uh, whatever this scum is formed over the surface that is removed with the help of the leather perforated leather and but uh, we have to stop this heating it is uh, when the effervescence disappears or uh, curd the brown curd particles form which uh, we can observe the brown curd particles or we can observe the disappearance of the effervescence in that liquid in that ghee uh, and this is the final step when we have to stop the heating and uh, next slide we are going to see in detail the flow diagram of the primary butter method but this is just the uh, introductory part so you will get the or you will understand the each and every point which is given the uh, given there in the flow diagram so for that purpose to understand the flow diagram first of all we have to understand the introductory part of the primary butter method okay so the many times uh, uh, many times we find the difficulty when uh, we prepare the ghee uh, by the creamery butter method when to stop the heating so the for the stop uh, to stop the heating first of all we have to understand the end point which is the end point and here the end point is that this appearance of the effervescence means effervescence are generally for okay so this is the first point and second point is that we can observe the brown curd particles so this is the end point where the heating should be stopped okay up to this point the final heating temperature uh, that is the 114 degrees celsius means uh, after the uh, when the, uh, we 
got the end point, then this uh, final liquid or the heat is generally heated to the 140 degrees Celsius. And if we uh, we want to develop a cooked flavor to that but uh, to that heat, then beyond this temperature, again this heat is heated, so it will give us a cooked flavor. And when the cooked flavor is uh, developed, then this heat is filtered and it is kept in a settling tank. So, in this way, by the primary butter method, heat is prepared. So, this is the short introduction of the primary butter method. So, let's see and detail the uh, primary butter method. This is the flow diagram of uh, the creamery butter method. The first point is the milk. The milk is preheated to the 40 to 50 degrees Celsius because the next point is the cream separation. So, uh, when the milk is preheated for the 40 to 50 degrees Celsius, uh, it becomes uh, very easy to, se uh, to separate the cream from the milk. And for the efficient of the cream separation, milk is created to the 40 to 50 degrees Celsius and then uh, the cream is separated by the centrifugal cream separator machine and then this cream is heated to the or uh, the pasteurized to 80 degrees Celsius for the 15 seconds and uh, and why the pasteurization process is carried out to kill the micro uh, organisms present in that and to inactivate the enzymes. So, for this purpose, the pasteurization process uh, is uh, carried out. Then, when the cream is pasteurized to the 80 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds, it is cooled to 78 degrees Celsius. And this cream is taken for the churning process. When the churning process is completed, this cream is converted to the butter. And this butter is taken into a separate vessel and the name of that vessel is the uh, butter melter where uh, as we have seen in a previous slide that the butter is melted to 60 to 80 degrees celsius and when this butter is melted so to melt this butter this butter is generally break into a small pieces or cut into a small pieces and, and then uh, it helps to melt easily. So, here the butter uh, is melt, uh, uh, melt, uh, melt here in the butter melter for the 80 degrees Celsius. In between 60 to 80 degrees Celsius, temperature is generally maintained to melt this butter. And when this butter is melted here in butter melter, then it is pumped to the heat boiler. Again, this is the second vessel. Uh, that is and uh, this uh, will called as the uh, ghee boiler and where the ghee is boiled when butter is heated in an improved ghee boiler which consists of a stainless steel jacketed pan or the vessel uh, provided with a, a manual stirrer there may be provision uh, for a movable hollow stainless steel tube centrally uh, centrally poured to the bottom of the pan for emptying the pan contents when required. Alternatively, uh, the pan may be emptied by the providing a simple pan tilting device, a steam control valve, pressure and temperature indicators uh, are also provided in a ghee boiler. When the ghee boils hair, the scum generally forms over the surface of this boiler and the scum is uh, regularly removed with the help of perforated ladder. So, uh, and uh, during the heating process, it is continually, uh, continuously steer or scum scrap. So, due to the steaming scum scrapping process, the maximum moisture get evaporated from the ghee. 
sorry, form the water. So, uh, this is the main objective of this boiler, where it means the maximum moisture is removed from the, to remove the maximum moisture from the water. And to remove the uh, scum which is formed here with the help of perforated ladder. And again, they, when uh, the maximum moisture is removed, uh, we may observe a crackling sound here. We may observe a, a brown colored curd particles. So, we can say that this is the end point of the heating. And when the crackling sound is observed and when the brown colored curd particles is observed, heating should be stopped. But here again, the boiling uh, is adjusted to the temperature of 114 degree Celsius. As we have seen in previous like that, if somebody want a cooked flavor in that case, again beyond this temperature that is the 140 degree Celsius, the ghee is heated and so it will develop a cooked flavor and then it is, uh, then it is filtered and it is stored in a again the separate vessel or in a uh, ghee settling tank. So the final product which is obtained in that settling tank that is called as the ghee. So in this way the ghee is prepared by the creamery butter maker. Let's see again the each and every point which is given here in the flow diagram. The milk, the good quality of milk, the sweet clean, the milk is taken, uh, taken and the cream is separated from this milk by the centrifugation separation. It is standardized to 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. You know very well the meaning of the standardization means it is the process of uh, maintaining the desirable amount of fat and SMS content that is called as the standardization. Here the fat is standardized to 38 to 40 degrees Celsius and then this cream is pasteurized to 80 degrees Celsius to kill the microorganisms. Then this cream is cooled and allowed to churn. When the churning process is completed, we will get the butter and that butter is taken into a separate butter melter. And this butter is generally a cut into a small size, so it helps to melt easily. When the butter is melted, it is pumped to a ghee boiler where the uh, the ghee or uh, where the butter is boiled and here into the ghee boiler ghee boiler is nothing but a, it is a stainless steel kettle where the butter is uh, boiled when the butter uh, butter start to boil it forms a scum over the surface and then it is removed with the help of the perforated ladder and when we observe a crackling sound into this uh, a ghee boiler and when we observe a brown color curd particles to this step heating should be stopped so this is the end point and it is uh, it is filtered so uh, after the removing the maximum the scum it is filtered and whatever the product of them that is called as the ghee. So in this way the ghee is prepared by primary butter method. So uh, thank you uh, for listening to my lecture. In coming lecture uh, we are going to see in detail the next method of ghee preparation. So thank you very much.